my friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigolos and gigolettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. Alrighty, it's 9.05 a.m. I'm on the, I'm in route to my first task of the day. And um, this is different. I'm not gonna monetize this one. Everyone get your dislikes ready. Get your dislikes ready because I'm not talking about gigs or rideshare or whatever, you fucking fucking fickle fucks you all right um so as you guys know i used to do sam comedy uh I, I did it a lot when i first started doing it then i would you know i would bomb on stage and i'd be like yeah i'm not gonna do it for a while <laughs> then i get back into it then i'll bomb on stage and i do it for a while and then so that happened for like three years and then covid came and there was nowhere to perform comedy, and I really have not like written. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't even know what the process is of writing jokes. Like to me, it was always something's on fire at the airport. Okay, that's not a joke. That actually, I'm watching something on fire from the from the expressway. Um. So I've been kind of like, I've been kind of itching to fucking do some material, but I don't know of anywhere to do a set, right? So um, I'm going to run some bits on you guys and let me know what you think. And I know some of you are going to be offended by some of this material, even though in my opinion it's not offensive at all. But then again, I'm not a, I'm not a West Coast softy, I'm not a beta. So yeah. All right. Let's get cracking. Uh, I... Before I met my uh, girlfriend, I never really watched, I didn't really watch TV, never had time for it, right? Uh, but now, you know, me and the girlfriend watch a lot of TV, and her favorite network is TLC, and I believe that's short for the Learning Channel, right? The only thing I've learned from watching the Learning Channel is that I'm a mentally healthy and stable adult in America. <laughs> It's the only thing I've learned while watching that channel. Because that channel has shows on it like Hoarders, uh, the Honey Boo Boo, whatever uh, show, My 600 Pound Life, Little People, Big World, and 90 Day Fiance, right? And it's all trash television. Like I said, I don't learn anything. The only I, I feel my... I feel my brain cells just dissipating the more I watch this shit. Um, but I'm thinking to myself, they have all these different shows. And eventually, it's all going to be one show. It's going to be one, like, <laughs> it's going to be one show that covers all these topics. Right? I already know. In 10 years... Honey Boo Boo is going to grow to 600 pounds. She's going to give birth. She's going to give birth to two midgets in a in a hoarded up trailer park in a, in a trailer in a trailer park house that's fucking all like hoarded to the fucking top of the thing. And she's trying to work things out with her with her Nigerian fiance. So that's the first one. <laughs> and I'm fucking. I'm calling it right now. That's totally going to happen. Honey Boo Boo is fucking only 200 pounds away from, <laughs> from one of those things. Um, all right. Uh, second one is actually a serious topic, and I think we have to address it as a, as a country, right? And that's objectification. And I'm not talking about men objectifying women. I'm talking about women objectifying men. For example, a couple months ago, or to the UFC, we're watching on, on, the, on the big screen. Well, I'm watching it. The girlfriend's bullshitting on Instagram or TikTok or whatever the hell she was doing. And I'm watching it. And then they showed like a training uh, montage of Paulo Costa, who's a Brazilian middleweight fighter. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's one of the top ranked fighters in the world. And he's competing. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's fighting for the championship against Israel Adesanya. And they're showing this video, and I, I can't help but notice as they're showing this video, my girlfriend, whose who's <coughs> head, head was buried 
Kate in her phone, I noticed they're showing the video of this of this jack, jacked, ripped, chiseled Brazilian with abs and pecs and arms. Look at this fucking chiseled chin. And I see my girlfriend like she's her phone and I literally see the phone drop and the eyes go up. <laughs> And this is someone who's shown no interest in, in MMA or UFC up to this point. Says out loud, like, ooh. <laughs> When's he fighting? <laughs> and now my girlfriend never misses the UFC because she's hoping to catch a glimpse of Paulo Costa. So Paulo Costa's always hoping the pay-per-view buy rates with the, uh, with the women demographic, yeah. Something else I've been working on is uh, I feel like this is something no one else, and this isn't political at all. I know Trump is. Fun fact: I was doing a lot of political shit when I first started, and then everyone else was doing it. I'm like, I, I couldn't make it funny. So this is not political. This is just an observation, right? Anyone else notice that like Donald Trump and Rodney Dangerfield are essentially the same fucking person? You guys remember Rodney Dangerfield? You know, he was a star at Caddyshack, he had all these comedy specials. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is Rodney Dangerfield, he was a comic for like 10, 15 years. He never got his break. He retired from comedy, and then he uh, he was selling insurance, and then he got back into it in his 50s, I believe. Right? And that's a lot like Donald Trump, because Donald Trump, he's always been like the, you know, the the business person and all that stuff and all these different projects and he did run for president I believe in the 90s I believe he he ran for president in 1992 uh, but it was a third party thing and then so that happened and then he, he kind of dropped out of any kind of I mean he was always a political figure but he he wasn't really involved in politics that much and then you know 20 something odd years later ran for president again and won and I can't help but think like it's, 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 it's like watching Rodney Dangerfield give something up come back and do it really successfully but still like you know I'm imagining Rodney Dangerfield in the White House in a bathrobe because that's all he wore if you guys didn't know uh, he always walked around casually in a bathrobe just imagine Rodney Dangerfield in the bathroom walking around like, Ugh, even in the White House, I can't get no respect. <laughs> That's like Trump. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that one needs work. I know that. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? You think Donald Trump and Rodney Dangerfield are very similar? I think so. Two creepy old dudes with bad hair. Let me know what you think. All right. I got to work on some more. I personally like the uh, TLC one a lot. And the Paulo Costa one, I think, has potential. So. All right. Yeah. Talk to you later. Bye.